Sheriff is with me now. So, Sheriff, you connected with the audience. They connected with you. You're an amazing public speaker. But what about the subject do you think really resonated with the crowd? Well, dear, dear, this is a law and order party. These folks get it. But, you know, this thing transcends party. It transcends race, age. Uh, and all these other demographics because people generally just want to be safe. This country's upside down right now. It's on fire in terms of uh, crime and violence with uh, good law abiding people, not just the American law enforcement officer. But I was uh, struck by something that I just read a little while ago in the city of Chicago on Monday two dead, 12 wounded in shootings. And it's been like that. It was one day, that was one 24 hour period. So I think if these uh, folks here were trying to disrupt this here in Cleveland, this Black Lives Matter, if they really cared about black lives, they'd be in Chicago and they'd be protesting, railing against the daily black on black violence of the good law abiding people in the city of Chicago. This is a political construct here. Uh, they're just here to make noise and disrupt. And to your point, Sheriff, I mean, since you gave your speech Monday night, another police officer was shot and killed in Kansas City. Two officers were shot at last night in Brooklyn. Uh, you made some clear comments and suggestions for people who were listening in your speech, but what needs to be done to move the ball forward? All right, you know, we've gotten way far down this road now, and I was worried about this. I said it two years ago after Ferguson. I said, I see an anti police sentiment growing that is going to end in violence. And sure as heck, two years later, it started before just recently, you know, with Dallas and uh, uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and you were talking about Kansas City. Uh, Captain Robert uh, Melton was, was uh, shot and killed pursuing a suspect. See, there was a, a time in this country where criminals were content with just trying to outrun the police. If the police were in pursuit, they just turn and run, thinking they could outrun them. But now they've been emboldened, and now they're trying to shoot their way out of it. What has to happen is we have to get rid of this anti police sentiment, this anti police rhetoric, this dangerous, vile hatred toward the American police officer being led by some very powerful people in the United States. Look, the president was involved. He had some matches, and he threw those matches down on that grass. He's not directly re responsible for the violence, but he has led the course in terms of turning out anger and hatred toward the American police officers. So he can start by, and not speaking out of both sides of his mouth, several weeks ago, he entertained D. Ray McKesson at the White House and invited the media in because that was a photo op. That was a thumb in the eye to law-abiding America. That was a thumb in the eye to American law enforcement officer, and then he comes out with a letter a couple days later expressing his uh, support and appreciation for the American law enforcement officer. I'm not taking it. He says yeah, he has our back. I don't want him at my back. back because I don't trust him. All right. He doesn't well, have our back. I wouldn't. I don't, I don't want that guy behind me because he's been stabbing us in the back. All right. Well, that is a matter of trust, which quite clearly you do not have in the president.